Glad you could join me for this tutorial on selective coloring. I'm going to show you how to take one portion of your image and have it pop out with just uh, uh, its color and the rest of it black and white. Now you could do this several different ways. Some people take one color in the image and make it pop out. In this case I'm actually going to take uh, one person in the image and pop them out which is going to be multiple different colors so it's going to be a little more complicated to do and what I've got here is a picture of a football player running down the field and it's nothing spectacular it's really not uh, any amazing image it's pretty standard it's a little bit blurry and to give it a little added pop I want to make that player really stand out so I'll show you a fast way to do selective coloring using masks. Now there's several different techniques for selective coloring and if you have an image with just a few colors you can do this easier with the color selection uh, or with the magic wand but I'm going to show you how I would do it on a more complex image like this one. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and add a new adjustment layer over top of my background and for that new adjustment layer I'm going to make it a black and white layer now when I lay that black and white layer in it's gonna obviously turn everything black and white just like what it says it is and in this case uh, that's great it's, it's all black and white I'm gonna put some color back in on the actual runner but I also want my background to be a little bit lighter colored so I'm gonna go also in here and this is a very fast way of doing it you can do it many different ways but I'm gonna grab the levels and for the levels adjustment I'm gonna pull this slider and you'll notice you can pull it different ways and it'll do different things to the image I'm actually gonna pull the mid slider to my RGB channel to the left and this is gonna take a lot of the contrast out of the image so it's gonna make it lighter and a little bit more washed out now that I have that done I have what I want my background to look like so uh, I can start recoloring the main figure which is going to be the running back in this case. What I'm going to do to ensure that there's nothing else that gets recolored and that it maintains this is I'm going to select those two adjustment layers I just made, go down here to where it says create a new group, hold down on the shift key and click on that. It'll put both of my adjustment layers into a new group and everything we're doing so far is non-destructive to your actual image which is to say I can turn off this group and I've got my original underneath and I haven't done anything directly to my original which is best case scenario you want to avoid editing on your original layer in case you make mistakes and I have to go back and undo them now while I have these two in a group I'm going to put a layer mask on my group which means that while I layer one I'm going to be layering both of these uh, layer adjustments at the same time and as I mask out one I'm going to be masking out both. So now I have uh, my brush tool over here in my palettes that I'm going to select and because white is the default color for showing everything I'm going to select as my foreground color black. So you want to make sure in your color picker here that you have black selected and I've got a brush that I'm going to bring the hardness down on to about 20 percent hardness and master diameter can be whatever you need it to be in this case I'm gonna change the master diameter as I work and this is just gonna be a fast way of showing you how to do this so I'm gonna take my brush I've got black I'm selected on the layer mask for my group with the adjustments and I'm just gonna paint in this is a lot easier to do if you have a tablet or if you have uh, some method of drawing other than a mouse, a mouse can do it but it's just a little more difficult, a little cumbersome to try to draw with a mouse for me so I prefer to use a tablet. In this case I'm using a Wacom pen uh, from the Intuos tablets and I'm just painting in on my character that I want to emphasize giving him his color back and also because I washed out a little bit of the background I'm also giving him uh, some contrast back in that the background is not going to have. So you're seeing I'm painting multiple colors back in, not just one. And shrink my brush as needed to get the parts that I want. This is obviously a really fast instructional, uh, and you would want to spend more time fine tuning your edges and making sure that it, it looks good all the way around. But this will just give you an idea of how to do it quickly 
So here I have that. Let me zoom back out. And as you see this, it gives a lot of pop and a, light, a lot of uh, dynamic feel to this image that was just kind of bland and boring. So if I show you what we had first, this is what we had first. And then uh, this is what we have now. So we added a levels adjustment, which you can keep or you can leave. You can lighten or darken, but lighting it just makes the foreground image pop a little more. And then I have my black and white adjustment. I mask them out simultaneously. And that's the final product. Thanks for checking this out.